Is this the end of Everglow? After another extended hiatus of nearly 10 months, Everglow finally came back with their most recent release, Zombie, which appears to be hinting towards whether the group is finished. Everglow debuted among an already crowded fourth gen field on March 18th, 2019, almost a year to the date before COVID would completely upend their careers just as they were getting started by forcing them to cancel their first world tour. Despite gaining significant popularity in the West with their first few releases, Everglow failed to catch on as well domestically with Korean K-pop fans. As a as a result, their comebacks became less frequent as their label, Yue Hua, is that how you say it? Whatever. Entertainment reallocated its eggs to other baskets. First was the song that got me into K-pop, but Pirate was such a massive flop that I wondered aloud if Everglow was done for. I'm glad to say that I was wrong, but unfortunately, their follow-up single, Slay, took 20 months to come out and performed only marginally better, peaking at number 83 domestically. Everglow wasn't just twiddling their thumbs in the meantime, though. They finally did get that world tour, and I was lucky enough to catch them on it. Zombie appears to be Everglow's answer to fans and haters alike who dared to cry the group as potentially dead. The video begins with the group's leader, Sihyun, getting the last laugh. The linchpin of the video appears to be the exit. Stark white hospital sets are brightly illuminated by glowing red exit signs. Rather than leave through the exit, though, we see Mia enter through one of them to sing the second verse. It would appear that Everglow is not willing to go quietly. Throughout the music video, we see the members gazing desperately into glowing iPhone screens, where they also receive calls from the exit but appear not to speak to it. The phones have the members entrapped and appear to be a malevolent force keeping them enslaved. I also like this imagery because people talk about how phones have turned us into zombies. Everglow appears to be no exception to that rule. One of the dance break sets appears to have have a glowing green grid as a floor and a thick green line behind them, as if located inside one of the flatlining monitors hooked up to the members, who wear white gowns appearing to be hospitalized and near death. The video makes heavy use of contrast, featuring the members with platinum blonde hair and white outfits along with black hair and black outfits, in a green room, in a red room, in a white room, in a black room. That contrast is also inherent in the nature of a zombie, a living dead thing, a walking contradiction. The wires hooked into the members could refer to their inability to escape their idle lives, or perhaps to the fact that their group is perceived as being on life support. Everglow is not willing to simply lie down and die like that, though. They're fighters who are deeply dedicated to their craft. The post chorus calls back to Lottie Da and appears to mock their haters for having counted them out. As she dies, a swirling portal forms within Aisha's chest, which appears to contain a pocket universe that calls back to the first music video. The vortex housed within Aisha swirls with smoke, motes of light, and lightning, all of which we saw the members harnessing as part of their magic in first, which also featured them as intergalactic warriors from space. The stars align to form the flatline implying her death as we hear the sound of a call going to voicemail before the phone breaks along the flatline and a puddle of blood forms beneath it. When we see the members dancing in the hospital again, the walls are now covered with blood a la season four of Stranger Things. It's seriously giving Rainbow Room, which would imply that the blood was left by the members trying to free themselves from their caretakers. Likewise, the lights in the ceiling flicker and flash in the way that the Stranger Things creators used to imply the presence of the Upside Down. The members laugh and dance hysterically around the hospital, illuminated by green light like that of the hospital monitors, before they collapse to the floor and disappear, leaving the room untouched. So, is Everglow dead then? Is that our final answer? The music video could be telling us that we were wrong to count them out, but it could just as easily be a farewell message, especially since the video does actually end with the members falling to the floor. In a cloud of dust, after getting their exit visibly greenlit, they claim to be never dying, but it certainly appears otherwise. If this isn't the last time we get the privilege of seeing Everglow come back, it's probably one of the last. Less than two years remain in their contracts, and it's difficult for me to imagine a group that has never received a paycheck wanting to resign for another seven years of that. One way or the other, we know their eyes are already on the exit. Also, a quick shout out to the Everglow stylists who absolutely killed it this time around. Thank you for letting Mia's hair breathe for a little while. I think that Zombie is really well done. And whether it's the last time we get to see them or not, for now, Everglow is back from the dead baby and I'm so here for it. Thanks for watching. Do you think this could be Everglow's final farewell? Let me know in the comments. Don't be toxic and I'll catch you next time.